Hello, I'm Varni Batugahage, senior lecturer from Horizon Campus. I thought of doing a presentation with regarding to the subject that we are studying under me, which is the LSM module. LSM means the legal systems and method. I will give you a brief intro with regarding to this particular subject. Then you will have a brief understanding what you are going to study with me throughout this bridging course at Horizon Campus. In this subject, we are studying mainly with regard into what is law. So we will go through in detail what do you mean by law, how the law is connected with the other theories, for example, whether law is only set of rules, whether it has any connection with the religious views, that means whether morality has a connection with the law. So it will be actually it will be the first lesson. So the first lesson we are going in deep with studying what is law and what does it work, how it works, who are the organizations which are dealing with law. Then uh, in this subject we will be going in detail with regard to the history of the English legal system. So we will find uh, how this English legal system came into the picture, came into the world, who, who invent this system or is it just a system uh, written, from, written by someone or found by the judges. Then we will be going in detail with the development of this English legal system as well. Then uh, the next part will be, uh, we, are, we will study in depth with regard to the principles and theories which is in this English legal system. For example, uh, there is a theory called doctrine of binding precedent. So uh, you may not be able to understand all these words since it's so new, since the law, the subject of law is so new for you. So doctrine of binding precedent means whether the previous decisions of the cases are binding for the future cases or not. Uh, then there is another theory called statutory interpretation. So statutory interpretation in brief that will explain you how we should um, explain the legislations. That means explain in the acts of the parliament what sort of theories are there which we have to adhere when we are explaining the theories of the explaining the acts of the parliament. So we are studying that also in depth. Then the next one will be uh, the court structure and the judiciary. So we will be studying what is the English court structure, what is the lowest court and what is the uh, highest court, uh, what are the criminal courts and what are the civil courts. Then we will study uh, what is the judiciary. So judiciary means with regard to the judges in the English legal system, how these judges have been appointed, what sort of a role is there for these judges, what do we have to consider when we are appointing judges? How to balance the uh, how to balance the judiciary by making sure that the, the judges are comprising with both male and female, white and black. Okay, so that is in brief. It's with regarding to maintaining the diversity of the judiciary. So how it should be done and why it's so important for the society. Uh, then the next topic will be with regard into the civil justice system and the criminal justice system. So civil justice system and criminal justice system means uh, when, you, when it comes to law, law is resolving two different types of disputes. Law will be resolving disputes with regard into private problems, disputes with regard into public problems such as if it is a civil issue, a civil issue means a private issue that means if any individual is having a dispute with your neighbor, we'll say it's your with your neighbor, you're having a land dispute, you're fighting for your uh, broad, your boundaries of your land, then uh, it will be a private issue. It's nothing to do with the entire society. So the society will not be affected from the decision given to both of you, for you and the neighbor. So those kind of things are civil, civil disputes, private issues which is not actually a problem of the entire society. But criminal justice system is dealing with problems which are affecting to the whole society at large. For example, if it's a murder, a rape or a theft, I know it'll, uh, you might think that it is also some sort of a private issue because it's not that maybe it's someone unknown who have been killed by another person whom you have not even heard about. But still for all, um, if there is a murder taking place in your society, it is actually affecting to the entire society's peace. So the, uh, the social order of the society is 
uh, society is um, not prevailing if so so therefore the criminal matters are considered to be uh, um, considered to be public issues where it is a matter which is affecting to the society at large so a civil justice system is dealing with private matters criminal justice system will be dealing with the public issues so we will be dealing in detail how the court structure is working for the civil justice system what are the things that you can resolve under the civil justice system who are the people who are engaged with this dispute resolution they are in the civil justice system in the same way we are studying the criminal justice system as well then apart from these uh, areas of the subject uh, there are two more different areas that we study under the system under the legal systems and methods subject we will be studying how to read a case judgment uh, that is only provided from this from this subject only and it's very important um, uh, it will be giving you a very good knowledge with regarding to reading a judgment so uh, university will be actually sending us judgments current judgments for us to read and be ready uh, we have to know what is the we have to know from the beginning who are the parties of this case who are the judges who appeared uh, who are the uh, in which court that this particular case was heard then uh, we have to go through in detail how the judge has decided this case and uh, we must be capable of finding out what is the law which has been applied and what sort of a theory that he the judge is using in order to come up with the decision so likewise we will be going in detail with reading a case judgment and i will be actually helping you a lot with regarding to this uh, studying reading this case judgment uh, you had worked with me uh, in order to do this task it's not an easy task but i will try my best to help you all um, uh, help you all as much as i uh, much as i'm possible then the next the last part is the reading of a statute statute means an act of parliament so act of parliament i hope that you all know what is an act of parliament uh, so uh, university will be sending us an act we have to go through that act we have to figure out what is the long title what is the short title uh, what is the date of the enactment we have to know what are the main sections the subsections i will explain you all when i'm doing all these lessons so you may not be able to figure out all these words right now for example you might not know what is a section and what is a subsection but once we study that part i will be helping you all to figure out all these terms so this is just a line up about the subject for you to have a have a brief understanding what you're going to study in the future then uh, then with the statute we have to attempt a problem question applying the statute so it will be kind of a scenario uh, what uh, something which has happened so we will say somebody has robbed a place so if someone has robbed a place uh, if we want to punish that person we have to see uh, we have to see we will be applying the uh, statute act of parliament which is relevant and resolving that dispute when considering the program lineup that means how i conduct this particular subject with you all in this bridging course i will be mainly dealing with presentations i will not be dictating any notes for you all generally uh, in case if there are anything that i have to give you in detail i might uh, but mainly it will be a presentation presentation wise lecture which is taking place uh, then I'm so into doing academic games with y'all in the bridging program because I think that you have to enjoy the foundation program because before we start it in uh, September the real program uh, once we start the real program we will not be able to enjoy our studying in this way so because there are a lot of things for us to do more than mere doing games but games will actually help y'all time to time for you to memorize certain things once after, after september also i will be doing games um, on and off but uh, throughout the bridging program i'm so into doing academic games soon after each each lesson uh, will be will i will be trying my level best to do an academic game 
uh, to make sure that you all are studying and memorizing the techniques. Then I will be dealing. Uh, I will I will encourage you all to do with um, uh, get into debates. There are certain topics that we can uh, enjoy by uh, doing a debate, such as the first lesson, law and morality. It's a good uh, good lesson to do a very good debate. Uh, then um, on and off, uh, not for each and every lesson. On and off, there are certain lessons that which I which I will encourage you all to write answers for questions. Uh, specifically when it comes to the statute reading part when you read the statute uh, I will give you all the scenarios and I will ask you all to apply the uh, statute to those scenarios and answer questions um, other than that uh, there are presentations which I want you all also to uh, take part uh, then um, academic posters uh, uh, making up your own uh, innovative ways of studying uh, there will be certain um, actually the, this entire bridging program will be some student centric uh, course rather than the lecture centered um, uh, method then when considering the paper structure of the LSM subject generally uh, up to this year uh, nothing changed but with this pandemic situation which is taking place in the world they have suddenly decided to change the paper structure uh, in order to help the students actually. So, but generally the paper structure is, uh, paper is comprising with three parts, um, namely part A, part B and part C. Out of these three parts, there are some parts which are compulsory and some parts which are non-compulsory. Part A and part C will be compulsory parts. So the part A is dealing with that um, case study, which I explained you all earlier in the first uh, slide, how to read a case judgment. So with regarding to a case judgment, they will be asking questions, which is a compulsory part, and it's a scene, scene part. They already, they have already sent you the case judgment. You have already gone through the case judgment. You have uh, done your exercises with the case judgment, so you are 100% ready with it. It's a scene part. Then part uh, C is also a compulsory part. Part C is with regard to the statute, the Acts of the Parliament. Uh, they, they have already sent you the act that they are going to question. They have already sent you all a similar scenario also for you to get used to uh, how to uh, how to answer the question, so to get familiarized. So that is also a scene part. So it seems, it seems more easy when compared to the other papers in this um, program so LSM is kind of an easy paper uh, with regarding to the uh, when comparing the other subjects specifically because we have already we already we have seen parts two seen parts then part B is the part B is a uh, part which is comprising with six questions out of those six questions you only have to do two so uh, there are four questions which you don't have to do so it's, you, it's up to you, your choice. So out of six, you only have to select two. And those six questions will be comprising with lessons, uh, which was there in your subject guide, the study guide. Um, that is actually an unseen part. Uh, you know what are the areas that they are going to question, but you have not seen the questions that they are asking. Um, so LSM paper structure is quite easy when compared to the other subject anyhow i will be helping you all throughout and specifically once we start our real program from september onwards uh, uh, i will be helping you all more with dictated notes and uh, journal articles extra reading and everything will be provided to you all and i will help you all as to how to uh, familiarize yourself writing answers correcting your answers all that will also be done for you all um, so don't worry about the paper structure though i explained it on the very first day then we have to know what are the essential reading that we have to do that we have to read in our program uh, for LSM legal systems and methods subject there are uh, there is a recommended text from the University of London which is known as the learning legal rules it is written by James Holland and Julian Webb uh, for uh, other than to this uh, other than to this tex uh, text book which is given from the University of London they will be providing you a subject guide it is like the textbooks which are provided for each subject 
when you were at school, something like that from the University of London. They are also sending um, su subject guides for each subject for legal systems and method also they will be providing it and it is very very useful. Uh, it is actually it's a must to read the subject guide be familiarized with the subject guide subject guide will give you the pages that you had to read from this textbook le learning legal rules subject guide will be helping you with uh, mock questions a subject guide will give you the answer structures for some questions it will give you activities quizzes uh, those things are also provided in the subject guide so it's a must to read this read the subject guide uh, more uh, and in order to study little in detail we can refer to the learning legal rules textbook as well then uh, uh, other than this uh, the university has provided you some online resources which is called the VLE the virtual learning environment uh, from the university website you can log into the VLE once you register with the university and get all the extra reading materials from the VLE as well so which are which, which are really essential for you to practice in your study period thank you very much i hope the presentation was clear enough for you to get a brief understanding with regarding the subject that you are going to study in the future which is the legal systems and methods subject uh, i will be uploading few more videos uh, covering all the lessons that we are intending to study in the future